I want to welcome everybody here. Uh, this is the roundtable portion of our uh, event this morning. Comprehensive, compassionate, <coughs> and common sense based immigration reform. And I just want to open it up to really listening to people what should be in immigration reform and how should we really push at it to get Washington to pass comprehensive immigration reform. I've seen people go to jail because they got a job, but they were hired. It's not, you know, they're just looking for work. There are so many, uh, many threats. Many people has to live with fear of losing uh, this job because they can go to another place. You're potentially giving billions to this economy. And what will come out of it is the lifting of everybody. So the whole issue of how you deal with skilled labor and unskilled labor, which I know the AFL is negotiating, is key. Right. For it to include a fast track for those uh, that have received a degree, but they can't work in that area because they're still undocumented. And let Congress know, let people know, that if we have good immigration reform and good laws, then our borders will be more secure because people will have a path into the United States. That family members are reunited with their other members who have been deported and also some who didn't get a chance to come who should be here. So we just had an amazing town hall, so to speak, in terms of really talking to some of the people here about why we need immigration reform and what it means to families in America if we have immigration reform, what it means in terms of the continuance of the American dream. How do we make that real? Well, my parents brought me here when I was one year old. Um, I know nothing about my um, place of birth, which is Mexico. Um, this is all I know. And to get this opportunity to be legalized here, it's, it's amazing. Um, but now that I have a status, it's a feeling that I can't explain to go to school and not be criticized for being illegal. But the fear is still there. I still live with the fear that I see my parents go in the morning for work. But I always wonder, will they come back? Will this be the last time I see them? And we need something to, to protect me from being with that fear every day. I'm really sorry. I know that a comprehensive immigration reform is really important because there are so many people outside fighting just to try to make a living. Uh, there are so many people outside living with a, a wage that is below the poverty level. There are so many people outside has been suffering abuses and there's nobody uh, who can actually help. We really need to remember that we are humans. We want to stop living with the stigma of second class citizens because we are not. We are honest people who come to this country to work. And for many of us who have to leave our families behind, we just want the opportunity to reunite again because we are not complete. We're always living with that hole that nobody can fill. The NACP believes that we should have immigration policies and laws that emphasize, first of all, basic human dignity. Basic human dignity. And all of these organizations that are sending the message not only to uh, our members of Congress that we need comprehensive immigration reform, but most importantly to our community because we know that nothing is gonna happen unless we get involved. We need to have one country, indivisible. That means a path for immigration, and it starts today in Houston. Thank you very much.